Hi, we're Haley and Jake. For the past six months, we've been traveling through North America in our van with our dog, Finley. After visiting the United States and spending an amazing three months on the Baja Peninsula, we finally shipped our van across the Gulf of California to begin our exciting journey across the mainland. Subscribe to join us. Our mainland adventure started off with a five-hour drive south into Nayarit to the town of San Blas. From here, we'll begin our road trip down the tropical Riviera Nayarit. For the next two weeks, we'll be exploring the coastal towns and getting to know this very new landscape. But first, breakfast. Breakfast papayas! So this coastline is quite a bit different from Baja. You've got lines of huge palm trees and then you've got the mountains and it's very hazy. It's also very warm and a lot more humid here. So quite a bit different from what we're used to, but we're liking it. We drove into town and set off on foot to explore the quaint streets of San Blas. When Mexico was occupied by the Spanish, they established the port of San Blas, which was a jumping off point for military expeditions and connecting Mexico with the Philippines. A short drive from town took us to the historic site of El Puerto de la Contaduría, meaning the Fort of Accounting. We've just arrived at the fortress and we're going to go for a little walk around the grounds and go scope it out. Built on top of Cerro de Bastillo, this colonial complex was originally built to protect the port from pirate invasions. And it was here where the Spanish would count their newly gained colonial riches before exporting them off to various parts of the Spanish Empire. Later, the fort was a major battle site during the Mexican War for Independence. Incredible views. Palm trees are so tall. We were continuously struck by how different this coastline is to Baja. The mainland is tropical and filled with sounds of birds, something we didn't realize we missed while in Baja. Our first lizard sighting. So we weren't really sure what to expect when coming here. We heard it was one of the things to do and wanted to go check it out. But um, it's really interesting. The views from up here are awesome of the whole area. It's cool to see some of the history. It's 20 pesos a person to get in, and it is definitely worth the visit. So this building here is the old church. Hey, bud. Are you helping Finley? The next morning, we were up early to make the short drive through the tropical farmlands to visit one of the oldest residents in the area. Cherry blossom trees and the birds singing. Where are we? We're at a crocodile sanctuary where they hatch them and release them into the wild. This guy. This American Crocodile Reserve is a non-profit working to replenish the local population after it was severely reduced from poaching and habitat loss. Usually the crocs live in lagoons, but since we're here during mating season, they're in enclosures to protect nests and prevent fighting over territory. Where's its tongue? The reserve releases around 300 crocodiles every year, once they're large enough to defend themselves in the wild.
ready to hop in? You got this. <laughs> well, we check swimming with crocodiles off the bucket list. <laughs> Good morning. Last night was our first time wild camping on the mainland. We found this spot on iOverlander that is tucked away in between some farms. We thought it was at the end of the road next to this river here, but this road actually continues over to the other side and it's pretty regularly used, which was pretty cool to see. We've seen cars and we've seen horses, we've seen dogs. Everyone just walk through the river. We also set up the starlink last night and looked into what these big fruit are. They are jackfruits and apparently this area is really popular for having jackfruit farms. We set off early to take on the day but quickly stopped when we spotted a local tienda selling jackfruits. Gracias. Gracias. Hmm. That's the bien. Um, quanto costa por uno? Do you, do you want one or whole one? I mean, if you can buy it pre-cut, then that's perfect. Algo más? Anything else? No, 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 no gracias. We just stopped by one of the markets on the side of the road and picked up some jackfruit, also known as yucca, and it is freshly prepared, which I'm very thankful for because we had a look at one of them when we were cut open. I would have absolutely no idea how to prepare it. Our freshly bought yucca. Sure. There's a pit in here. There's a sheet in here. Oh, cool. This is the stone that's in each one of the yucca cloves. Clear on this side. We set off weaving our way down the tropical coastline dotted with small colorful fishing towns. In some, we stopped to try the local snack. How is it? Spicy. And others to stretch your legs on a walk around the main square. After a very full day, we arrived to La Peñita. The beautiful streets were painted with elaborate murals and taco stalls poured onto the sidewalks. That is very spicy. <laughs> the food was delicious and the owner kindly let us park outside of his restaurant for the night. Every street here has street art on it and it's all beautiful, so colorful. Yeah. 
We set off to continue exploring the Nayarit coast, starting with San Francisco, a popular vacation spot. We quickly learned these streets weren't designed with our big van in mind. Uh, stop, 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 stop. I need to, I, it's, oh, it's only an inch, I just need to wait till it goes up. Until... Yeah. I'm just gonna go straight and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Freed from San Francisco, we continued on to Sayulita, whose streets proved even harder to navigate through. How much room do you have? Yeah, you're good. The mirrors are high enough. It's tight. Okay, keep going straight. Can I get through? Yeah, on this side you can. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you're good. So we wanted to head to Sayulita tonight and find a spot to camp there and then check out the town tomorrow. Uh, from reading our Overlander reviews, it looks like there's a lot of good spots to park right by the water. But when we got there, it was crazy busy, which we didn't expect. So after about an hour driving around Sayulita, we feel a bit defeated. We're going to head to a local gas station and come back bright and early to find a good spot to park in town. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Very early the next day, we drove back into town, prepared to take on the streets of Sayulita. Once a quiet fishing town, Sayulita is now a bustling tourist destination and a designated Pueblo Magico. Located just an hour's drive away from Puerto Vallarta, it's a popular spot for both local and international travelers. So it turns out we came to Sayulita in the busiest week of the entire year. We visited Sayulita during Semana Santa, the week leading up to Easter. It's a major holiday in Mexico. But despite the crowds, we loved it here and stayed a lot longer than we initially intended, tucked away on this quiet beach access road. We quickly developed a morning routine of walking through town while it was still cool and having breakfast at the beach before the sand got too hot. In the blistering midday sun, we found many ways to beat the heat. Whether it was strolling through the massive craft market, stocking up on groceries, or getting our taco fix at our favorite taco stall. And when drastic measures were needed, we got chocolate covered bananas. Gracias. And before we knew it, we stayed here for the whole week. We're leaving Salulita this morning and heading a little bit further south to go do our first hike on the mainland. So we drove 20 minutes to the next town, I think it's called Higuero Blanco, and we're going to be hiking Cerro del Mono, or Monkey Mountain. It's an old volcano that's about a three kilometer hike out and then three kilometers back, and it's straight up a mountain. So you're supposed to get a really good views from the top. There is a herd of cows just up the path here and there's a couple calves and they don't like Finley. We're waiting here hoping that they don't think he's a threat and then we should be able to pass. Bye guys. There we go. Thanks guys. We're past the herd of cows.
Starting to get our first view. We've got one last push to the summit and it's quite a steep one. Never fear, there's a rope. Gotta go up there. <laughs> Not bad. You ran. <laughs> you go? Last push. Just around the corner. Good boy. Good job, Finley. Good boy. I know you're a little hot. Let's get some water, bud. <laughs> we made it. Ready to go back down? Let's go back and see if we can beat the heat. <laughs> We're not gonna beat the heat. <laughs> Let's go find some water to jump in. Let's go back to the beach. Good boy, yeah, you got this. Good job, bud. Oh, oh yep. Good boy. Up. Oh. Hello. Thanks for watching the van. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up to let us know and subscribe to join our adventures! We'll see you next time in Puerto Vallarta!